As you continue to hear the Lord's word and receive his blessed sacrament, he who has begun a good work in you will bring it to the completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Dear Katie, the Almighty God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you the new birth of water and of the Spirit, and has forgiven you all your sins, and strengthened you with His grace to the life everlasting. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Katie's Bible verse for her confirmation is from Psalm 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. God's blessing to you, baby. And receive your certificate and I'll see you. Ella, first of all. The Almighty God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you the new birth of water and of the Spirit, and has forgiven you all your sins, and strengthened you with His grace to the life of the blessing. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> the Bible verse for her confirmation, for your confirmation, Ella, is based in Jeremiah chapter 29. Verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil. To give you a future and a hope. Beautiful words of the prophet Jeremiah to the people in captivity. Blessings for you, Ella. Amen. Ian Pearson. Dear Peterson, the Almighty God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you the new birth of water and of the Spirit, and has forgiven you all your sins, and strengthened you with grace to the life everlasting. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ian's Bible verse for his confirmation comes from Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things for him who gives me his strength. Blessings for you, dear. Stephen Gentry. Dear Stephen Gentry, the Almighty God and Father of Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you the new birth, the Father, and of the Spirit, and has forgiven you all your sins and strengthened you with His grace to the life everlasting in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This David's Bible verse for his confirmation comes from Isaiah chapter 54, the verse 10. For the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you, and my covenant of peace shall not be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. Amen. Blessings for you, Stephen. And before Stephen is seen, and uh, Stephen and Katie will have a word for the congregation. Their word for you all in this time and this beautiful day.
We also would like to thank the church and, <laughs> and our many Sunday school weekday and BBS teachers for all their help and guidance over the years. They have all taken time out of their lives and taught us about Jesus and our studies. Without them, this day would not be possible. We also would like to say thank you to our parents, grandparents, <coughs> godparents, friends, and family that have pushed us, encouraged us, and loved us, and helped us to get to who we are, to who and where we are today. We are a new class and have been taught by many of the elders, and also by Pastor Copper. We've had new changes this year with Pastor Copper, and we have been challenged. We have come ahead, we have come head to head a few times, learning the way. But in the end, we all know we have found the way to follow in our Father's footsteps. We in the class of 2019 would like to present a gift that will be coming soon, that will be coming soon to the church. It is being handmade with love for the church, a replica of the church for our offering and the kitchen area. We are very proud that one of our recent adult compliments is helping us with the making of this gift. We pray that this gift will be enjoyed by all the by all at every meal, breakfast, lunches, and get together. Thank you again for everything. Forgive, forgive us if we have forgotten to include anyone in this. We really tried to make sure everyone was included. 